I was always scared of the dark as a child. And I still am, if I'm being completely honest. It's slightly pathetic, but I'm afraid to sleep with my head above the covers to this day. My nightmares were the worst back then. Every single week without fail, Doctor Who would scare the life out of me and I'd end up screaming for my mum in the night. I was really squeamish as well. Insects and creepy crawlies would send shivers down my spine, even butterflies and ladybirds. I think the phobias I had were definitely irrational. Dinosaurs terrified me, even though I knew that they had all become extinct millions of years ago. I also knew that clowns weren't lurking under my bed, and that goats were no more sinister than the next farm animal, but the fears prevailed. I had what you'd call an overactive imagination. I think I was more scared of what my mind could create, rather than any tangible threat or danger. I remember when I was around the age of 10 and the bathroom mirror fell on my back and sliced it open. My dad rushed me to A&E and he stitched me up. I was fine in the end, just a small scar, but the phobia I developed of blood and sharp objects was actually quite overwhelming at one point in my life. Illness and injury have always freaked me out. I think I was born a hypochondriac. And now I'd still manage to blow any minor symptom way out of proportion until I'm planning my own funeral in my mind. Sometimes I wonder whether I'm so scared of sudden sickness because the thought of death is so bleak. I'm scared of the finality and though I do believe in heaven, I also fear judgement and hell. To die unfulfilled would be awful. I don't want to waste my life by procrastinating, waiting for opportunity to come to me, and being scared to pursue my passions. But will the fear of failure ever go away? I don't want to be on my own. And though I'm only 20, I sometimes wonder if I'll ever find someone to spend my life with. Will I give love and receive it in return? <laughs> Maybe I'll die alone. The thought of losing my family is the worst. I don't know how much loss a person is able to take and still continue to go on. I'm afraid that I'll never see my mum again. But mostly, I'm afraid that I will. <laughs>